Hi, this is Bart Polson, and this video is a walkthrough of an exercise from Zed Shaw's book, Learn Python the Hard Way. If you go to his website, learnpythonthehardway.org, and click on Read the Free HTML Online, that'll take you to the index, which, since our last video, has changed its look. And you want to scroll down here to Exercise 31, which is called Making Decisions. Let's see, it's that one. And if you click on that, it takes you to this page. This is where we're actually going to be setting up a very short version of a text-based adventure game. Um, Zed refers earlier, if you go, if you just search for the game Zorg or Adventure, which actually is Colossal Cage, Cave Adventure, you can still download these. You can still play them. Um, text-based adventure games that get rather elaborate. Anyhow, this is the text that we need right here. And I'm going to run through it bit by bit in uh, Text Wrangler. So I'm going to go right here to Text Wrangler. Let's take a look at the first line. The first one, the very first thing this program does is it puts some text over here on the console. And it says, you enter a dark room with two doors. So you go through door number one or door number two. I have to scroll over a little bit so you can see there's a question mark there. Okay, so that's going to be asking a question. And then it's going to create a variable called door. Uh, that accepts the raw input. There we go, the raw input. It's going to blink a cursor here for the person to enter their number. Please note, by the way, if they're going to choose door number one or door number two, they have to enter it without the pound sign, just the number one or two. Uh, if you enter the pound sign in one, that uh, it doesn't recognize it as the correct response. I mean, obviously, you could fix that, but it goes to else. Now, Let's say a person types in door number one. So now what we have is that if, so if, so it's a conditional statement, if door, if the value that just got entered into door because they typed it in is, now the double equals means if it is exactly equal to, if it is, if it is identical to one, then it will print three things. The first line is there's a giant bear here eating a cheesecake. What do you do? And then it prints two choices. One, take the cake. Two, scream at the bear. So this is a second choice. It's a second order thing. And it's going to create a new variable within this if loop called, uh, if block, I mean, called bear. And it's going to say raw input. It's going to wait for you to type in a number. And again, you need to type in either just the one or just the two to get the answer. And here's what it does in response to this question. If bear equals one. So if a person types in one right here and it feeds that one as raw input into the variable bear, it will print the bear eats your face off. Good job. Okay, then you're dead. Elif, else if. So if they don't do that, but they do this other thing instead, if bear is two because a person typed a two into raw input and so the variable uh, bear now has a value identical to two. It will then say, the bear eats your legs off. Good job. Okay, you died again. Now, what's interesting here is we have an else. And so the first two choices are explicit. If they do one and they enter exactly the number one, or if they enter two, exactly the number two. If they do anything else, then put this. Well, doing S is probably better. Bear runs away. And what that is, is remember, this is a little uh, format thing. Uh, it's, it's, it's like a variable. It's like inserting a variable into the string. In fact, S is for string. And what it does is it reads whatever the person entered into bear. And remember, bear is, it asks you what do you do when you see the bear. And it takes whatever you typed in, puts it into bear. So if you put anything other than a one or a two, it'll put that into this line. It'll print it. And that, by the way, is the only way to survive the game as it's currently constructed. Okay, back up to your first choice. If you uh, chose door number one, you saw the bear and you get all of this because it says if door equals one, you see how it's indented as it goes through? Now we're dedented, we're back out, which means it's at a new block. If you entered number two, then you get this thing. You stare into the endless abyss at Cthulhu's retina. I didn't know how to pronounce Cthulhu until five minutes ago. I've, I mean, I've known the word for years. I had to watch a YouTube video to say Cthulhu, Cthulhu. Um, so you stare into the endless abyss at Cthulhu's retina, and then you get three choices, one blueberries, two yellow jacket clothespins, three understanding revolvers yelling melodies. That's because this is our craziness episode. 
And whatever you type, it enters into a variable called insanity. And then here we have uh, an if statement that says, if they enter one, so if insanity is identical to one, because that's what got entered right here, or, so this is interesting because you can actually put more than one condition in. If they put one or they put two, so if you choose either of these, it goes in here into raw input and gets fed into the variable insanity. If they type either one of those, then it prints out on the console, your body survives powered by a mind of jello, good job. If you enter anything else, if you enter three or any other text at all, it will put the insanity rots your eyes into a pool of muck, good job. And so if you go to door two, there's simply no way you can win. And then it's and then uh, the game quits and you can start over again. So I'm gonna run this now. I'm here in my console and right now I'm in my default directory. BP is the name of my computer. The colon uh, then sets apart what my working directory is. If I type PWD, print working directory, you can see that the tilde is short for users slash BART on my Mac. That's my home directory. Um, I want, however, to get into this one, scripts, which you can see is users, BART, documents, Dropbox, projects, Python, learn Python the hard way, scripts. So it's several layers in. It's going to be a lot easier to just do CD space and then drag this folder in. It fills in the whole path and I can hit return. Now my uh, working directory, see print working directory is scripts and that's that's what I want. I'm going to clear this out by doing command K. And I'm going to run the program. To do that, I type in the word Python, all lowercase, and then I type the name of the file. It's x31.py. I hit return and it prints this first line. See, that's the first line right there. And then the raw input is this. So it, it puts in the little arrow and a space and it's waiting for me to enter a response. So let's go to the door one. So I type a one, hit return, and then it gives me the second choice. And that's because if door equals one, and that's what I entered, then it runs through the rest of this. So this is what's showing off on there right now. And I get to make a choice. Let's do one again. So I'm gonna take the cake. Oop, buries my face off, and you see it's bumping me right back to the um, the command line, the prompt. Let's try it differently. I'm gonna do an up arrow. So the last thing I entered was Python x31.py. I can run it again. I'm gonna do one again. I'll try screaming at the bear. Now it eats my legs off. I'm, when I'm back at the prompt, I'm gonna run it again. I'll do one, um, I went door one, there's the bear, and watch, if I just type in anything else. Well, doing whatever is probably better, bear runs away. So this is the only time I've survived. I'm gonna clear the screen by typing the word clear. You can also do command K. And uh, let's take a look at what happens if we do door two. I'm gonna go back up to this one. I'm gonna go to door two. Here are my choices. If I do one, my body survives by mind of jello. If I run it again, I go to door two, I choose two, same thing. If I run it again and I choose three, excuse me, look, I, I chose three and it just, oh, you know what? I left out a, um, I left out a command over here. There we go. I forgot that there is an overall else. If a person, chooses something other than door one or door two, something else runs. Now I've got this, this is what it happens if they choose something other than one at the first input. So now let me run that again. You see, if I put in three, I stumble on the knife and fall and die. Anyhow, you get a feel for how this law works. I'm gonna do Command K to clear that out. And this is a way of building an interactive program. It's text-based at just the moment, but that's enough. That uh, was enough for computer games for quite a while and it can be involving. Anyhow, the if, the if else, the input form the basis of a huge amount of programs and they show how we're gonna make things work in later exercises. Anyhow, thanks for watching.